So who gets activated charcoal in the context of overdose? The first question to ask yourself is, has there been a potentially toxic drug ingestion? And if the answer to this is no, clearly you don't need activated charcoal. Second question is, is charcoal likely to be helpful? So there's certain things that charcoal just doesn't work very well for, like metals, hydrocarbons, alcohol, or caustic liquid. The third question is, what is the degree of toxicity that I expect from this overdose? So if the answer to that is, it's unlikely to be very toxic, then you probably don't need to give charcoal. If on the other hand, the answer is, it's highly likely to be extremely toxic, or it may be life-threatening toxicity, then it may be mandatory to give charcoal under a duty of care, whether or not the person wants to take it. And that may even require sedation in rare cases. But there's a lot of cases where there's a potential for toxicity, but maybe not a severe or life-threatening one. And in those cases, if the patient is willing to have charcoal and they're cooperative, then they can have the charcoal. But if they don't want to have the charcoal, then you don't force them and you just allow them to decline the treatment. So that's a summary of the current guidelines of who gets activated charcoal in the context of overdose.